what is up y'all it's Soleil and i'm back with another video today we're gonna get into this easy everyday makeup look super quick literally done it in maybe like 20 minutes super easy for you guys if you would like to see this video please like comment subscribe and let's get into it so guys this of course is my everyday i am gonna do an updated winter makeup because um my skin is starting to get a little lighter because of the cold weather and all of my makeup is from summer so i need to update on like makeup and stuff like that so i'll probably just go ahead and um I'll probably just go ahead and do that. Like, go buy some newer products. Don't worry about the length and stuff on there. Anyway, so I'll probably just go ahead and buy some more products um, for it soon. Of course, if you know, everyone kind of have an idea of how to do their eyebrows. If not, this is what I do. I have super full eyebrows already, so I don't like when my eyebrows are, like, too, too full. I obviously need another one of these. Um, it's Nick eyebrow pencil. Um, it's gonna be in the shade dark brown. Um, so I just go in like correct it, and then whenever I do the front of the eyebrow, I just do like the light strokes like that. It kind of just you know does it for the girls or whatever. It kind of makes like your eyes kind of like you know like I can't under, I can't really explain that eyebrow that eyebrow um form but the girlies get what i'm saying so anyways i take a spoolie and i just brush it out so it can look like one see what i mean just brush it out so it can look like one this is before we form it or whatever um with some concealer so what i like to do which i would see is i like to take my foundation which i might end up using my fenty tonight just because i usually like to use um maybelline fit me but because this Maybelline Fit Me is kind of too dark for my skin tone right now, just because I'm getting a little bit lighter. Um, you see what I mean? Like, it's it's kind of too dark for me right now. So, I have to go get something else. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to use the Fit Me for my foundation. And I'm going to use Medium Beige and Tawny from Pro Concealer. All the girlies know I have used the... Um, Tarte, I love Tarte, but all the girlies know this is like some real deal holy feel right here. All the girlies got that. Um, for setting it in, I'm going to use Photo Finish by Smashbox. That's the primer I've been using. Um, I feel like it makes me have like a super smooth finish. So that's why I have been using it or whatever. So if you guys are wondering what should y'all go and get like as far as... um primer i like the primer i've tried elf and i didn't really like elf um and then of course i used to do like the method when you use um what is that called whenever you use um milk and magnesia and it was cool but i felt like it really really dried out my skin and my skin is already really dry so for me that this works with my skin because like i said i have um like in some areas it's in between but in a lot more areas it's pretty dry so i like to use something that's like you know not too mattifying or whatever so that's why i've been in and out of using a fenty just because i'm like mm, i know it like mattifies my face a lot so anyways when it comes to shaping my eyebrows if i look down that's because my uh, mirror is right here i'm so sorry guys that i don't have a brighter light i'm in my bathroom the light is pretty bright um but yeah i'm sorry i don't have a brighter light i feel like with the next month i'm gonna make sure i go ahead and get a brighter light and a camera like i've been saying so we can just go ahead and you know do our the fizzle or whatever so anyways, this is for the bottom. So what I do is I just put it underneath and then I go again and I shape it to how I want it. Why is that dark? Oh no, I'm tripping. Um, I just shape it to how I want it or whatever. 
So I do like the little, you know, to however you want it. Of course, this is an option. You could just go ahead and stick, skip because a lot of people already know how they like their eyebrows. I think it's more of like the foundation and what you use on your face and how you use it on your face. You know what I'm saying? Today, I'm doing more of like an everyday look. I'm doing more of an everyday look, so I'm not going to do a full face of foundation. I just don't use a full face and foundation because I'd rather not wear makeup at all. But unless it's somewhere that I'm going where it's like I I need to like be so, so glammed up. I used to do, I like to do like maybe concealer, foundation, and then the rest. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that makes sense. So anyway, take your beauty blender, of course. Go ahead and pat that in. Go ahead and pat that in. And yeah, so I guess I'll talk to you guys while I do this because I have some things to talk to y'all about. Y'all already know. So recently, if y'all haven't seen, I just got my new car. I'm so excited, y'all. I've been waiting so long to get it. I have had so many opportunities to get any car, but I've literally waited to get that car. Like I waited a very long time to get it. Well, to me, it was a very long time, but it was honestly like a year. But I waited a while to get it just because I had to make sure that's what I wanted. And to know when you want something, go after it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to settle. Like, I know a lot of people think like, you know, take one year or two years or, you know, take the time out to like live a certain lifestyle to get where you want to be at. I look at it like, which is probably bad, um, a bad way to look at it. I look at it like, if you want something, do what you got to do to go get it. Whether that's start yourself a business, whether that's put in another way of income, whether that's like just doing something to get yourself to a position where when you want something, you can afford it without having to feel like it's out of your reach and so on and so forth. So yeah, but anyways, it took me like a year to get it and I'm so happy because now I just feel so complete. Like now I feel like, okay, I want to get back to YouTube. I'm Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Um, my phone lost a little bit of storage. Well, my the phone that I'm using for my camera lost storage. So I had to go and clear it out. I had a couple videos still on there I forgot to delete. But anyway, so yeah, like I was saying, I did get my new car, which I'm so excited about. I'm so happy about it. Um, so now I'm just feeling like I'm ready to get back to where I was and just get to recording for you guys and doing all those things for you guys. So be on the lookout for many videos to be heading your way. Also, I want to say that um, I did really learn. I feel like within the last year, um, I really haven't been doing what I need to do. And it shows like I know at one point my videos was reaching like a thousand views, 14,000 views, so on and so forth. But now when I get on, I'm like, oh my God, like I get no view. Like I might get like a hundred views, but it's just because I haven't been consistent with you guys. So I will say that, trust me, I see it and it shows that I need to be consistent with you guys and be on top of things with y'all. So anyways, just now I use the Pro Filter Soft Matte. Um, I want to say it's in the color, it's going to be the 30, 350. So what I'm going to do is put this on the bottom because we're going to use contour right here, right here, concealer. So I'm just not in a mood to just put it everywhere on my face. Um, but again, I'm doing this because I've had a couple girls ask me about, um, a couple ladies ask me about my new skin, my new makeup routine because they can kind of see the difference. And then I have some people ask me about my um, lip my lip routine, like my lip gloss. So I'm gonna do that for you guys as well. But anyways, yeah, so little life update. I really have been trying to lock back in. I've been working on my Depop and I've honestly been ready to get back to my business. Like I said in another video, I don't know if y'all know, but I used to have a business. Um, it was a clothing business that I just have put on a back burner for a while. But I'm just ready to get back to it. Like, I'm ready to lock back in. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all be on the lookout for that, you know. And honestly, with the holidays coming up, I'm thinking about doing a little droppy drop of maybe just doing like back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back videos. And maybe doing a giveaway for the year of... Um, next year. Hold on, my friend's calling. 
so anyways yeah that's basically what i'm gonna do for y'all come thanksgiving y'all bear with me i am trying to lock back in with y'all i want to have try on hauls and everything coming y'all way because i know y'all miss me maybe maybe not maybe i could be overreaching maybe so i just used the medium beige right now for my concealer and i'm just gonna pat that in now honestly with this concealer it doesn't have like super full coverage like it's not one where you can put a little bit like how tart i'm not gonna lie with tart you can put a little bit and it spreads all over your face and you're good for like just a little bit this one you gotta like really get up in there because it doesn't to me it isn't like super super full coverage as far as like when you spread it out but i love this concealer i think it's good with um a matte like a dry look i don't like dewy faces i'm not that type of like girl i don't really do the dewy so this is like perfect for me anyway so what y'all just see me do is put the um i put the foundation right here concealer right there um it just works for me so that's what i kind of do now this next step is like this i stopped using liquid concealer i only use um powder i mean contour i only use powder contour because i feel like i can control it better i feel like when i used to use um liquid contour i couldn't really control it and now that i use the powder i see a huge difference so this is anastasia i only do a little bit because girl a little bit go a long way like and i just go in and just you know just go in and get it right but i like to control it but also be mindful i'm still going to put another concealer over this just to lighten it up so i'm gonna be able to like you know just do what i want to do with it as far as like if i feel like i want it too high or not but i like a high contour because i feel like i have sort of high cheekbones so whenever i do my contour and my um blush i just go ahead and you know do it pretty high because i can always cut it with concealer um so now i'm gonna do my chin because that's just what i do if anybody know me y'all know my nose is like my biggest thing my nose has to look like snatched like i can't not have my nose snatched but anyways y'all the holidays are coming up and oh so the contour i'm using is mahogany and anastasia but anyway so the holidays are coming up and i am just so ready to for christmas like i'm ready but i'm not ready i don't know about y'all but this year went super went by super fast it's ending in a way that i did not expect myself to be in like not really be where i'm at right now but i just didn't expect it to end like where i'm at but I want to say that in my other video, I explained to y'all, be very mindful of like what y'all tell God that y'all want in life. Because when y'all say something like, oh, you know, I want to be here. I, I want to be out of, you know, this predicament. Girl, you got to be ready for that. Like I'm telling y'all when I ask God, like, I'm like, God, I'm ready to be out like of nightlife. I want to leave like being a bottle girl. That hit me almost like the next day, for real. <laughs> like, for real. And it's like, who would have even thought? You know what I'm saying? Like, who would have even thought? So, when it comes to your nose contour, right? Because I'm really big on nose contour. I usually like to do this right here. Um, just to, like, kind of button it. I like a button nose. So, I just do that right there. And then I take some and i pat it down like the bridge of the line that i like i like my nose to kind of give this thinner illusion so when i go in with my um contour brush for my nose i just put it in a way where this is pretty thin the line coming down here is pretty thin this is thin so once i go in with that second concealer i'm gonna cut crease it right here this is gonna make it light and then i'm gonna put the the lighter concealer right there as well so y'all gonna see when i do that I'm trying to be more detailed than I was in my last one because I've had I've really been getting a lot of compliments on this makeup. So I'm like, let me make sure I do that for you guys. Make sure I give y'all all the details for it. But um, yeah, so girl, I feel like the holidays are coming up so fast. 
and it's like almost what are we gonna do like are y'all prepared for christmas because i don't even think i'm really prepared for christmas like i think i'm getting prepared now but i don't think i was really prepared for christmas like i don't have my christmas tree up i don't know if it's just being an adult now where i feel like everything needs to be ready before like it's not even december and i'm stressing about my christmas tree being up but the months are going by so fast like i was once told once you turn once you're out of high school once you're out of school life goes by so fast and when i tell you that is so true life will pass you by quick girl you will be like what the heck like right now i'm 25 like i'm five years from being 30 one two months from being 26 like what is going on like everything needs to slow down everything needs to take a chill pill but anyway so one thing a secret that i have been doing is not using um spray whenever i finish my makeup but using it during it so right now i'm gonna spray my face with some all-nighter spray that's just i don't know it, it works for me to set in my concealer or whatever and so we're gonna let that dry a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and um get to it so with this with the highlighting concealer i don't like to go all the way down mind y'all because you want to make sure it's highlighting i feel like when you go all the way down at that point it's like you're putting on a, another layer layer of concealer so i just like to stay like right here and right there that's usually what i like to do because i'm gonna go in with my contour brush one more time and i'm gonna clean it up but yeah and so y'all see where i'm telling y'all i like to cut my nose contour close my eye and then right here i like to make sure i form it in a way as if it's like my actual nose you see what i'm saying like the illusion of a very thin like nose that's what i like it to get okay i love my nose i love my natural nose but i feel like when you do makeup it's to enhance features and so i just want to enhance my nose a little bit like i was considering at one point of my life a nose job but now i'm just like i love my natural nose i love when i'm natural and it's just like so cute my nose but when i do my makeup your girl likes to slay okay i like to slay my nose i put so much emphasis on my nose for real anyways yeah so that's what i do with that as, I, as you can see, I still have my line in the middle of my nose. I like that to like really set in before anything. That is a perfectly like formed right there. So I don't really have much to do. When we get to the um, actual face setter, I'm going to show y'all what I like to do. Don't put any more contour on your brush. Just like clean it up a bit where you feel like you want it to like, you know, just clean up a bit. Just clean up a bit where you feel like, okay, I want that to look like that. Now, I always tell people makeup is a process. Like even right now, makeup is a process for everyone. That's why you have different makeup artists. You have different hairstylists because not everyone has the same techniques. Not everyone, not everyone has the same techniques. Not everyone do it the same way. But in the end, if you love it, girl that is for you to love you know what i'm saying like you know some makeup artists may not feel like they want to do a nose contour or they might do a nose contour differently like i know women that does the nose contour after the makeup's done i'm like me on the other hand i don't like doing that because i don't like i'm my face eating and then i'm messing up a nose contour because i can't get the the lines right or i can't get the form of it right you know what i'm saying like so i don't do that so work what's for you. work what happens for you. This might work best for you better than a makeup artist that really be killing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like you never know what's really for you until you do it. Then you see like that's really for me. You know. So anyways, okay. Now this is it to my face. I don't do nothing else. I don't spray again. This is my everyday look. Just to let y'all know, this is not 
going out every you know going out to the club about to go party this is just my everyday look this is what i've been getting compliments on for me i feel like this side of my nose isn't really giving i'm gonna put a little bit more just a little bit right there you know before i set it in anyway so yeah i'm telling y'all i love the powder because you can play with it so much more in my eyes so what i like to do is take the back of my sponge which you probably can use a different brush i don't know this is how i do it and i just cut right i'm cutting i'm cutting i'm gonna do my chin just everywhere where you know don't hit your highlighted part because i'm gonna use a different powder for that right now don't put too much powder either girl Right now, I'm using Laurier Mercier, Laura Mercier. I probably butchered that, but whatever. Um, yeah, so we're just going to hit that little undertone right there. We're going to hit our chin, I mean our forehead and our chin and our nose. So when it comes to, when it comes to um, our highlighted parts, I like to use my one size if I can find the god dang on top. Okay, I can't find the top. We're gonna use this instead. I think we might have to use Gloria Mercier because I don't know where the top at to even get the rips from out of the bottom. Okay, anyway, so you wanna take that. And we're just gonna hit that right there like that. We're just gonna our highlight i think i'm gonna have to use my laura mercier because i don't know why i feel like it's really not setting in like it need to which is fine so i'm gonna take that same brush and i'm gonna take some of my laurier mercier and i use the color honey i think this is either honey or translucent um and i'm gonna let that set in and then i'm going to put some on my nose right here because i like for my nose to set in a little more than everything else now i know y'all probably like this girl look like a powder donut let me show you what you do so go ahead take that breast you did your contour with and let's get it right back to normal we're not gonna take off all of the powder we're just gonna don't put nothing on the brushes we're just gonna wipe away any excess powder on your actual like contour just so you can you know whatever so yeah, we're just gonna do 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 do. Okay. So while that is setting in, we're gonna work on our eyes and our lips. Um, for our lips, I use I like to use the NYX. Um, I use the same color. I said dark brown. It's in the color espresso. I use the same exact thing. I feel like it's y'all gonna see why. So we're just gonna. right and um i have another one that i've been using sometimes but it just i feel like that does it best for me so now we're going to take our contour powder and i like to use my contour powder as my outer layer for my um i brought my eyelash my i brought my eyelashes uh my eyelids because when I put that white on it, y'all gonna see how cute it's gonna be once that white and that brown like kind of mesh together. So y'all are about to see what I'm talking about. Y'all gonna be like, oh, okay, girl, I see what you mean. It comes together, like for real. We're gonna go in my James Charles palette. I haven't been really, I haven't been really using blush, but I'm gonna use some today for y'all. Um, like I said. Right now it's 10 16. That's how quick this makeup routine is. That's because I literally do it every single day. Um, or whatever. So I'm going, I'm going in my morph. I mean, and we're just gonna put a little white right there. Just an easy, quick cut crease, nothing too fast. I mean, nothing too hard for you guys to do. Just put a little white on your crease, however big your crease is. I kind of have a big eyelid. Um, so I just put it on there. And then we're about to clean it up. Everything is about cleaning up. You don't have to be picture perfect every time once you do it. You can go in and just like that, clean it up. Just clean it up and it's perfect. Just like that. 
Just clean it up. Clean it up. Okay, so now we're gonna use my Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. We're just gonna go ahead and mascara the top so I can get ready for the eyelashes. I'm gonna mascara the bottom once the eye once the eyelashes is like on. So now, okay, let's go ahead and start brushing some of this stuff away. Use a different brush. Don't use the same contour brush that you guys used in the beginning because, yeah, we're just going to use a different brush. I don't know why, but we are. Because <laughs> I was going to say because, but I was going to lie as the reason why we are using a different brush because I don't even know myself. I just use a different brush. Okay. So, again, you can go back in. This is pretty much it for me. So I take my sponge and I just pat it in, pat it in. Now, like I said, for the most part, my face doesn't get too um, wet. Like I'm not really a super, um, like what you call it person. Like my face doesn't get, what's the word? It's not wet. Hmm. It's a word for it. But whatever the word is, my face don't do that. I have more of a dry face. But some in some areas, it do get like a little moist or whatever. So I usually like to pat it in or whatever and get back to it. But as of now, I'm not going to do that um, because I just don't need to spray my face. So I'm not spraying it. So I'm going to use a little bit of blush, literally a little bit of brush. Blush, I'm just going to go right here because I don't want to wear too much tonight. Go right there, go right there, go right there on my nose. And then we're going to go ahead and let our... Put our eyelashes. I'm gonna put our eyelashes on. So for me, I learned the new technique where you just put the eyelash glue on your eyelashes. Now I like to do it because it's easy, it's fast, way faster than what just like putting it on the eyelash, waiting for it to dry. Like it's so much faster. You just put it on your eyelids. And then after you put on your eyelids, you're going to go ahead and um, let it dry while you handle up on the rest of whatever you else you need to handle up on. So as of right now, I'm going to do my highlight. And I don't know if y'all noticing, but while I'm talking to y'all and I look in the mirror, if I see any like super, super straight lines when it comes to my nose, I do like to go ahead and pat it out with the beauty blender. Don't pat it out too much because you want to make sure that your nose is still contoured because when you take your pictures or when someone see you outdoors, they're like, oh my God, your nose like it's so cute. But in reality, it's because you're like contouring the heck out of your nose. Okay. So anyways, continue to move forward. We're going to take a little bit of Anastasia highlight, put a little bit on the tip of our nose, get in that button look or whatever. Then we're going to do the bridge. Like I said, I don't really go in with any, um, I don't go in with any, what am I trying to say? Oh, spray, because I like a matte face, and so this helps me a lot. I've tried matte sprays and everything. I like this for right now. I feel like once it gets cold, I'll switch it up and start using spray more. But with the hot summer, the heat, I just like everything to not be so wet. You know what I mean? Okay, so let me go get my lip stuff, and then I'm going to come back do my lips and my eyelashes for you guys, and then we'll be done. Okay, I am back. So first, we're going to let my lips sit. My eyelashes is ready. It is going to put that on there. So this is my holy grail for right now. It's called the Butter Gloss. It's in the color um, Fortune Cookie. Literally, the holy grail for right now, girl. Like, if you are into makeup or even into, like, lip your how your lip look i used to be one of them girlies that only used to use um don't mind me where's that second one? Oh, it's right here i used to be a lip girly that was only into that was only into um lip gloss but when i start using like it's something about a pink lip with a brown outline for me okay so that's just what i like to do but okay, so with the eyelashes, I'm a double stack girly. I stack two like natural looking eyelashes. I used to be really into the long ones. Now I just like it real natural, real cute. 
So a trick I do is, if y'all watch closely, I like to put my eyelash on, right? So I just slide it on there. See how easy that is? What I like to do is pull. So once that on, I like to pull the eyelash just a little bit to give it like a sleek look. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? It's so cute, it's so sleek, and like, I just love it. It just gives every time. That with a good frontal, oh girl, eating the girls up, okay? Every time. So now, we're gonna add the second one. Do the same thing. Literally just let it fall on there. Fall, okay. And then we're gonna pull it a little bit, not too much. Boom, just like that, just like that, okay? So now we have our eyelashes on. Make sure they're, they don't have to be twins, but as long as they look like sisters, like how your eyelashes, I mean, your eyebrows don't have to be twins. As long as they look like sisters, that's all that matters, okay? I don't like when my ooh, side is too white, so I'm just, okay. So anyways, um, I'm gonna hit this one more time right here because you just need to give a little more. Um, as far as the lip gloss go, now we're gonna go ahead in with, what is in my eye? That was nothing. It is something. The lip gloss, what is in my eye? Hold on. Like something is in my eye, y'all. I don't know what it is. That was an eyelash. It is eyelash. I'm gonna have to redo this one because it's an eyelash in my eye and I don't play like that. And I that's one reason why I hate eyelashes because I'm like, I hate when my eyelashes are like all over the place. Anyways, we're gonna have to put some more glue. <sighs> we're gonna have to put some more glue on that. Clean this glue off. We're gonna have to put some more glue on that eye while I show y'all how I do my um, lip gloss and then my fake little mold that everybody likes to compliment me on, like it's mine. And I ain't gonna tell y'all that it's not, or if it is, if you see me in public. Okay. So anyways, put your lip gloss on. I got this lip gloss from Ulta. It's the shimmer lip gloss, so cute. I've gotten so many compliments on this lip gloss. It's just, girl, it be popping. Anyway, so you want to go back in with your fortune cookie and you want to just go ahead and just, you know, boom. Cool. So now we're going to go back in with this eyelash because, yeah, the glue is basically dry. So we're going to go back in and we're going to tweak it because I don't know what the heck was the problem. Okay, then we're gonna pull a little bit, like I said. Okay. Okay. Is that too different? Do it look like super different? I can't tell. A little bit, huh? Let's put some mascara on it. Like this side look a, the other side look a little fuller. Okay, now we better. Okay, anyway, so when it comes to my mold, I usually like to use a bobby pin because the bobby pin is more like precise than anything else. Where is the bobby pin? I like to use a bobby pin. So what I'm going to do is take a bobby pin. I'm just gonna put it at the end of the mascara. I'm just gonna put it on my face like I'm up and I get so many compliments on that mold y'all like they're like oh my god your mold so cute like your beauty mark is so beautiful just be like thank you knowing that's not my real beauty mark walk over and see what happens okay I'm confused I'm done with my makeup and hair I'm just wetting it I'm about to get my back together and then head out
It's just give you what you to be there. Like, do y'all see this? It just, oh, I love this curly hair, even though it's tired of me, y'all. Like, it's so matted. <laughs> but I've been using cream of nature on it. And let me tell y'all something. It's been doing what it needs to be do. What needs to be done. Okay, y'all. So thank you so much for viewing my channel. Again, I love y'all to the moon and back. I'm going to be more consistent. I always say that, but I'm so serious this time. So let's enjoy the ride. Cool? Cool. See you in the next video.